Hello and welcome to this special event, How to Be a Great GM series. My name is Guy and today we're going to be creating the map for the very first adventure that the players who are playing in the Save or Dice game, the Karos Stones, uh, are going to need uh, as they encounter this location. Now I'm using Dungeon Painter Studio because that's what the Save or Dice crew use uh, when running their games. Uh, a little bit of a backstory there, I've been invited to run the game for them and so I'll make use uh, using the tools that they uh, subscribe to. Now the important thing with uh, creating this dungeon is that we have created the adventure that sits around this particular dungeon um, and so we'll be referring to that. That was released in one of the previous videos, uh, Adventure uh, Plotting and Planning uh, so go and check that out if you haven't. So Dungeon Painter Studio. The reason why you're not seeing me is just because I need you to see as much as you possibly can. I have not used Dungeon Studio much, uh, so you will have to forgive me uh, for uh, any uh, blunders and mistakes that I make. Um, it's a fairly simple and straightforward program to use. So we're creating, we are creating a dungeon uh, which uh, we declared uh, was made out of uh, steel so if I look at it this to me looks pretty steel like so uh, we're gonna create our entrance now our characters fall into a chamber the um, tavern that they are in collapses into a chamber so we are going to do something uh, like this that's a five by five block uh, yeah okay great so that's the chamber that they're gonna fall into then they have a stairwell that uh, or a, a passageway that they can go through because they're gonna need to then they're gonna come out into a chamber because again they need to I suppose let's make this a big chamber and uh, we're gonna give them some choices here so they can go off that way um, or we can scrub across this way actually yeah no 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 bear with me like I said or they can go out this corridor here which leads to another chamber over there which is a dead end eight by eight it's better this chamber over here now something that um, I need to mention is of course these chambers are all flooding with water so I'm going to do that and uh, this corridor is going to be where water is gushing in from they could try and stop the water from flooding in I suppose but um, it went it won't be successful because I need them to get out of the dungeon. I don't want them to stay in the dungeon for too long. Then one more room. Let's say there. And then a passageway which is going to lead to their exit and salvation. Leads to a small room here. Let's make it six by six. And this would be the passage out normally. Okay, so yeah, that's... That's pretty much how I, I see this whole thing um, playing out. That's my rough layout. And um, we now right click. Oh, we right click here. And we say add wall. And this is the stone wall that's been added down there. <laughs> I was in the wrong, uh, wrong view there. Um, okay, and of course we can go in here and we can edit it um, as we so like, uh, however we want it to look. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, great. And uh, that's uh, for there. For here, we're going to add wall. That's bloody painful. And edit stone. Okay, that kind of looks like steel to me. Uh, I wonder if I can. Okay, so we've now um, got our uh, structures in place. Uh, we've got our basic map. 
We now effectively just gonna go and fill it in with uh, items and objects uh, to, to yeah, finish it off basically. It's as simple as that. Uh, we need some stairs and things um, leading us up and down and around. So here's some stairs. And we're going to rotate that 90 degrees uh, to 70 degrees. So it's going basically down, I suppose you could say. And we'll plump that there. Then let's do this way. So they go down to this level, down to that level. Uh, they're going to have to go out here. So we want this one. Yep, they go back up again once they get there to that space down there. Uh, then the rest I think should be pretty straightforward. We want to give them a sense of hope that they are getting out of this dungeon. So I'm going to come here and just... Which one is going up? That to me looks like it's going up but the wrong way. That looks like it's going up the wrong way. That's definitely not doing it. That's definitely not doing it. Huh. Right, must be this one. Just looks weird. Okay, so that stairs going up. And then once again, we have even more stairs going up, which leads to their escape, um, which of course, will get thwarted um, by our uh, rather dastardly individuals. Um, okay, so I should change here to different uh, tool sets so we can populate it a bit better with different bits and bobs. Um, I always forget that set of stairs, which I quite like. Okay, so uh, got the columns, I think this sort of looks like a stone-like column. So we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, just as simple as that. One, two, three, four. Four. Mm, no, we won't do anything else there. Okay. And I'll do something like that. It's an awful layout, isn't it? Absolutely awful. Uh, un uneven column distribution. The architects were silly. Uh, or. or uh, just not paying attention, I suppose. Okay, so there's some columns in there. What I would like to do now is um, we've got to make this look ancient. So that requires, in my opinion anyway, that there's some rubble somewhere. I'm hoping we can find it. Um, let's see, rocks. No, apparently not. That's very dramatic rock, but I'll take it. It uh, looks as if it could be sort of rubble collapsed room. So I'm going to put one there and there and there and there to indicate that there's sort of a collapse that's happened, causing this whole place to, well, to look like it's, it's collapsed, really. Um, so that's to indicate there, then down here, we need another passageway blocked off by rubble. I mean, these are these really are just referencing reference ideas, and I'm sure someone who knows the map better, the, the way that this works, um, will be able to do it much better than, than I can. So back up to Dragonville, template, and, and now 
don't need tools. Let's go to the main one. Uh, metal chest. I can go with a metal chest. I'm going to put a metal chest at the end of this room. That will be a trap uh, for the characters to, to encounter. Uh, I'm not going to draw the trap on the map at the moment. Uh, I don't need to. I will remember what it's for. Got some spider webs in here, I suppose, make it feel old and disused. In there. Uh, an outdoor that might be able to help us to create this. No, stairs. Again, you know, once you become more familiar with the program, you start to learn where all of these things are and, and what they do, and, and, and uh, it obviously becomes a lot easier to use, um, a lot faster to use as well. I was hoping that that would look like uh, debris, but not particularly. Uh, what have we got here? Dinner table, inscriptions, books. No, no, that's going to work for me. Table, pumpkin, tablecloth. Well, it's nice. You can set tables. Uh, right. I think we have run the gamut of... No, we've still got uh, this to go through. Pretty that they're different styles. Anyway, I'm going to come down here. We needed a chamber that contains um, a sacred carving, if you like. Um, and so that's what that's going to contain. And I'm going to put some tombs here in the background just to liven it up. I really didn't design this very well, did I, in terms of layout? But um, we'll scare the players by going and plopping these down in here. You know, once I've had that in sort of encounter on that side, uh, they'll be worried. I don't think they need to be, but uh, always fun to have a bit of fun. Um, put them here and here. Again, timing is a is a major challenge for 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 this game. So we're going to have to watch it and just see. You know, if we're running out of time in terms of the adventure, then hopefully this a lot of this will just be caved in. I'll just uh, completely um, block them off. Uh, make sure that they, they don't go anywhere uh, near the uh, certain areas that I don't want them to go to. This is all technological stuff, which may be, may be of use. Well, they're not sci-fi consoles. Uh, I don't think that'll be nice. Okay. Let's. Uh, I want to give them some rewards for for having um, survived this far. Or you know, I mean, it's the first adventure. It's always fun to to throw them something. There is that uh, ruby that they're going to find in this central space here. So I think what we can do is we'll just throw in there some tools so the more observant of them can go and sort that out um, and, and pick up something that may or may not be useful. And then because I like things to, to not just be about treasure, I'm going to have, if they get into this room here, Let's have in the corner some workman's tools, which might be a bonus to a skill check of some kind. Because um, I think that could be quite fun. Okay. Uh, it's just showing me what I've used before. I don't really need to number these rooms. 
again, just because of the, the way that I run my games, I don't need to put in too much information um, because, well, I'm, I'm, this is an introductory video. So it really is just designed to, to get the players into the game, get the players going. I'm going to put another chest, uh, turn off snap to grid, and put another chest there. Uh, so that uh, we get the sense that this will be the final temptation. As everything is collapsing and falling around, they'll see this. Uh, tomb that they could potentially uh, get into and uh, rob and and uh, it'll slow them down if they do maybe get them flooded a little bit get them into trouble Now, this room I am anticipating is going to take them some time to get through. They're going to search these coffins. I'm fairly sure of that. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Um, there we go. Buried underneath some rubble. Okay. Oh, I was spider webbing everything just to make it feel a bit more moody I might might throw in some spiders because what's a what's an adventure romp without spiders to come sneaking around and abducting players or causing grief I actually like that idea so much I'm going to make a spider a spider trap right here corridor full of spider webs there we go I think that looks pretty spiderfied Very simple program just to use and generate something quite quickly. I mean, we haven't taken too long doing this. And I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so there we go. We're done. We don't need to do anything more than that. Um, Maybe I'll throw a spider web or two down here because it's fun to make players panic and have to try and figure out how to get down these corridors. Um, yeah, and so that's that. We are now going to uh, export it uh, as a PNG and. Um, there's our basic map and pixels per square. Uh, we're going to do this for fantasy grounds. So we're going to drop this all the way down to 50. And we're going to create a JPEG of that. And there we go. It's done, and I can now name it. I'm going to call this the Dungeon 001. It's nice and saved in that folder, and I'll be able to access that from Fantasy Grounds when the game starts. So that's how I go about uh, designing maps. It only took us 25 minutes. The more familiar you are with the program, the better. Uh, it means you'll just be able to work through it faster and, and achieve 
um, nicer effects and things. Um, but yes, that's pretty much it. We're done now. I'm going to save this uh, so I don't lose it. Uh, dungeon 001. And um, until next time, what's left to do for this adventure? Nothing. So in the space of about an hour and a half, we've got our entire adventure linked to our campaign with all kinds of cool stuff. The only thing really left to do is work out this riddle uh, for this particular room as to how it needs to be solved. And um, I think I'm going to have some options available. I think these pillars may be able to be rotated and they need to be rotated into a certain order. And that order could be perhaps um, dictated by, uh, because this is a temple to donkeys, uh, or it is now anyway, because uh, that's the central part of the uh, legend or the rumor. Um, I think it's going to have something to do with animals. So if all of the donkeys face inwards, the tomb opens up and uh, the treasure is revealed. If not, then the, um, the room just remains inert as water is flooding in and slowly uh, filling up this entire, entire space. So that's it from me. I uh, wish you and yours the very happiest of plotting. And hopefully we'll catch you on the actual um, live stream of Save or Dice. That starts on the 3rd of October. Watch out for the uh, trailer, which launches uh, later on, um, just before the, the, the game itself, the day before. Uh, and you'll see what it's all about. Until next time, I wish you and yours the very happiest of map making.